Hey guys, this is Master Luthier Anton Krutz, and I'm coming to you from the Krutz Luthier Workshop in one of our warehouses where we have five tons of wood. I'm standing in front of our base wood, and I'm going to use some of this wood to make the competition base that we're going to be entering in the competition for the 2015 ISB convention. I'm here with the finished base plates. This is the back. See it's all carved out on the inside, carved out and scraped on the outside. This is the top. It's all finished. Have the base bar. Also, I glue in a sound pulse patch right off the bat in all the new instruments in order for them to have a better sound and also reinforced area so the sound pulse does not impact the top as bad. So you can see how this is done on the inside. Now these plates are ready to glue onto the ribs. Here we are with the base form. This is where I make the rib structure. I bend the ribs, then I glue the lower block, the upper block, and the corner blocks in. After that, I glue in the linings, and then the rib structure is done, and this is how it looks like. Afterward, I glue linen onto the ribs so that the ribs become stronger and stiffer, much more so than if they are by themselves without any linen. And you can see all the corner blocks are in, and now the rib structure is ready to glue onto the top. Guys, I'm ready to glue the ribs onto the top. And in order to do that, I have a form that keeps the ribs in place. And onto the form, I place the clamps, and that keeps the ribs in its place. And once all the clamps are on top of the ribs, I will then put glue between the ribs and the top and glue the ribs onto the top. I have the finished instrument in the white right now. The back, the ribs, the belly, and the scroll are all glued on. See, the scroll is done. I haven't drilled the holes for the pegs. The ebony pieces are glued on. Everything is ready to go. Inside the F holes, I have taped on cloth on the inside in order for the varnish not to go in when I'm varnishing. Next will come the ground or the sealer, then the varnish, and then the setup. I'm in the varnish room, and I just finished putting the ground on the base. Here you can see the golden brown color of the ground. The ground is what gives the sound its richness and also gives varnish the refractive ability that you see. Well, I finished the base, got it all set up, and now it's ready to go to the ISB Makers Competition. And here it is. The varnish is a golden brown antiqued. And the reason I antique it is because a bass and really any other instruments, they do not wear like instruments from centuries past. And so in order to make them look a little more like the in instruments from centuries past, I antique the instruments. Here's the finished bass, and it got a certificate for tone at the 2015 ISP convention. I hope this video was informative about the stages about how I make my basses. You can check out more information on me and the full line of crude string basses on crudestrings.com. Until next time.